So we've got some new amazing hero equipment, the Magic Mirror. And what I like to do is bring out a top three attack strategy for each Town Hall if there's new hero equipment. So here's my top three for Town Hall 15. This is the hero equipment we're going to be using, or a variety of it anyway. Giant Gaunt and Rage Vial, Magic Mirror and Healer, Puppet, or Frozen Arrow, or Invisibility Vial, whichever works best for you. Eternal Tome and Healing Tome and Haste Vial and Hog Rider Puppet. So here's attack strategy number one. We're going to start with Earthquake and Lightning Spells to take out high value targets how many you have depends on the target we're taking on a town hall 16 base friendly challenge here guys so one earthquake and seven lightnings to take out quite a bit of that compartment at the bottom of the base the actual army eight root riders 12 valkyries and four druids with these lightning spells an earthquake spell a beautiful ground spam attack and don't worry all the army copy links are in the video description this is army number one how do you use magic mirror with the queen i like using it in sort of a spam attack following the main army send your queen in there you can obviously use the queen to help funnel on one side of the base as well but i like sending her into the main battle and using that ability when she's sort of in a builder barrier to take out loads of defenses so we're moving through the base now that monolith on the left hand side is being rather annoying so we've sent in the rule champion but unfortunately there's skeleton traps there that's not good king ability has been used on the right hand side the Queen ability has not been used yet. Hopefully we can take out the Monolith. Yes, we can. So we've got three different attacks today, guys. Sort of different attacks with regards to different spells. Because I think Root Riders at Town Hall 15 are pretty impressive. And I think Magic Mirror works best with ground attacks. So we've used the Queen ability. We've now got the Queen and two clones. Sort of in the center of the base, like I mentioned. That's sort of where I like to use the Queen ability with the clones to try and do loads of damage. But unfortunately, they've walked into a poison cloud. And guys... That happened to me the other day. I was walking to town, just needed to go to the shop to buy some bread and milk. Walked down this lane I've never been down before. Oh yeah, this looks okay. Could be a shortcut. Suddenly I woke up about three days later. Didn't know what had happened. My shopping had gone. My shoes had gone. I only had one sock on. I'd walked into a poison cloud from a spell tower, guys. Somebody down the road must have installed a spell tower in their front garden. It was activated by accident. It thought I was some sort of enemy. Took me out. But I'm alright now, guys. All I'm trying to say is just watch out for spell towers in real life. So back to the action. Can we get three stars? Yes, we can. And this isn't easy, by the way, guys. Taking on Town Hall 16 bases maxed out. Trying to get three stars to Town Hall 15. It took a few replays because it can be quite difficult. Don't like this base here. Invisibility spell tower in the center. Again, another friendly challenge. This time, we've got more Valkyries and we're going to use clone spells. I find clone spells and any sort of attack strategy makes the attack strategy easier. You can use those clone spells on the Hog Rider puppet when you use the Royal Champion ability. But mainly, I'd say use it on the Root riders or valkyries you get loads of value out of that remember they only last for a certain period of time but it can really help your attack as you're moving through the base what i need a couple of root riders over here okay here's a clone spell what i need a root rider over there yeah fine more valkyries please we got a clone spell don't worry about it yeah guys so anyway back to the action the invisibility spell tower has been activated the town hall was invisible not anymore we've got some troops moving towards it can we take it out so like i mentioned magic mirror i think is a great piece of hero equipment i'd probably say it's my favorite piece of hero equipment on the queen it's fun it's powerful and it's easy to use i've been testing it out quite a lot i think it works best with these ground attacks air attacks yeah it can work with that if you want to clear one area of the base one corner of the base with the queen at the beginning you can use it with giant arrow but i think healer puppet and giant arrow for air attacks is the number one choice because you've got a mini queen walk then what you could do i guess is use the magic mirror heal a puppet and have a couple of healers to sort of deploy on the queen afterwards or a druid and there he is michael the minion the most powerful troop in clash of clans so this is attack number two sort of a variation of the first attack with more valkyries less root riders and of course those clone spells i'd sort of say this is easier than the first attack but the first attack you've got the lightning spells and earthquake spell to take out certain compartments so attack number one is a great attack when you can plan ahead maybe clan war league or something like that this attack great for legend league great for any bases you might not have any preparation for because you've got those clone spells it's going to be close but we're going to manage to get three stars so that's our second replay and we do have one more we're just going to wait for the grand warden to get three stars and guys if you are enjoying the video remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell join the samus army for more videos like this so i try and find nice easy to use spam attacks for the casual player onto our last base 
Pretty nasty base, don't like this, but let's try and get three stars again. Siege Barracks on the left-hand side. It's up to you what siege you use. Siege Barracks are absolutely amazing for funneling, max level anyway. But if you're worried about not taking out the Town Hall, of course, try and use that Battle Blimp. A couple of Yetis inside, send it through the Grand Warden's ability. Use a Rage spell, and normally the Town Hall will get taken out. But these Root Rider attacks, guys, I think you should be okay. This attack now, we're using bats, so another Root Rider variation. This is probably my favourite attack, I think, on most bases. If you've got those bats and those overgrowth spells to help them out, all it takes is a bit of planning. You need to know the radius of the overgrowth spell and probably use it a bit later on in the battle when you're at 50, 60%. Watch out for multi-inferno, scatter shots, wizard towers, things like that. You can neutralize a couple of wizard towers, send in the bats. It can make a real difference. We've got three different attacks here, haven't we? Earthquake and lightning spells, number one. Number two with clone spells and this third one with bat spells and overgrowth spells. If I was to put them in order of my favorite, I'd say this attack is my favorite. Then it'd probably be the clone spell attack attack and the lightning and earthquake spell attack at number three but that's really good like i mentioned earlier if you can prepare for a base clan war league and you think oh, yeah i want to take out that compartment invisibility spell tower how much value can i get out of using those earthquake and lightning spells we're sending in the bats now another tip for you i like sending in the bats in the corner because they seem to gather quickly at that first defense and take it out now are we going to be okay there is a scatter shot there the bats look worried i'm worried we've used a free spell can they take it out go on guys do it quickly you can yes and it's going to be close so if you're going to be taking on town hall 16 bases bats are the way to go i think or any of these attacks today so i do hope you've enjoyed the video today guys do remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell join the samus army for more videos like this and do remember on this channel we do have something called a creator code that's where you can help support your favorite content creator in game by using their code before making any purchases our code is code moose any support would be amazing and you do need to renew it once a week watch out for poison spell towers in real life remember to practice your funneling and i'll see you later bye